In MapleSim, you can use subsystems as an easy way to manage increasing model complexity. To create a subsystem, simply select the desired components that you'd wish to place inside of that subsystem. Right-click, select Create Subsystem. Give your subsystem a name and press Enter. Now that you have created a subsystem, you can double-click and create a pin to the higher level of your model. To do this, create a connection between a port and one of your internal components and click on the border of your subsystem. If we go back to the main level of our model, we can use that pin to connect to a component in the main level. You also have the ability to place an icon as the visualization for your subsystem. To do this, double click on your subsystem, click on the icon, Click on your subsystem and click on the drop down menu where you can select image. Choose an image from your computer. And when we go back to our main level, we will see that that image is now the icon for the subsystem. Another option that you have when using subsystems is the ability to parameterize your subsystem. For example, here we have used the parameter L to parameterize the rigid body offset of our link. To establish this as a parameter, click on the parameter icon and create this parameter. We define the name as L, the default value is one, and the description as length of link. You can set a physical meaning of the parameter by using the type dropdown menu, which will allow you to also choose appropriate units. Click on the diagram icon to view our subsystem and click on the main to view our top level model hierarchy. Now you can see that the parameter L or the length of our link is available at the higher level of our model where we can change it without having to change the individual parameter in multiple component places.